not the result you wanted to come out from Liverpool to back on the field last year. It's been frustrating for you. Yeah, I've probably forgot how long it's been since I've actually played some competitive cricket. So I was really excited to get out there and especially for the Lime Green, which is yeah, a club that I, I love playing for. And yeah, Sydney Smash is probably a pretty special occasion to get back out there as well. But obviously, yeah, not the result we're after. How are you as a fan of the last few games watching the side like that? You can't actually help them. Yeah, I'm not a very good cricket watcher at all. Um, I do bite my nails already. So then, yeah, trying to sit on the sidelines and, and cope with watching the girls, especially when they're away from Sydney and I, I'm back sitting on the couch. But making sure I was getting into the rehab side of things and making sure I was ready for this game um, kept me occupied. Can you talk us through the injury? I know it's a freak injury, but can you speak to it a little bit deeper to what actually happened? Uh, there's not much to it. I simply tripped over my own feet. There's not a cool story behind it or anything. So yeah, um, that's as simple as it was. Just bowling in the nets um, early one morning to get some loads in and yeah, landed a bit funny and tripped over and that was it. It's pretty scary when it's that innocuous. Are you back earlier or this is essentially when you thought you were going to be back? Yeah, there was probably five to six weeks penciled in and this is five and a half, so we're right in the middle. So probably, yeah, what we expected. How do they come out tonight? Have you got the big wicket of Mitch? Yeah, um, it was a bit ginger to be fair. It didn't feel quite as well as I would have liked, but um, that was expected, I think. So yeah, to go, go out there and, and get a big wicket. But yeah, I would have liked to go for a few less runs. It would have been nice, but on a ground like this, it's pretty hard to do that. So um, yeah, happy to just get out there. And a quick turnaround, I know with the knee injury, do you want to play safe? Good chance you'll play on Friday or are you going to rest? Oh, I'm sure, yeah, to see, I'll see how I pull up tomorrow. We've got a travel day tomorrow as well. So yeah, get into the pool probably and um, sort it out and see, go from there. Is it one that got away from us? You started so well with the ball, had the run of the ropes, and even in the run chasing, you were looking quite good with that five overs to go in and three with a few six ball trying to stall that. Yeah, I think we'll go back and look at how we went about our batting innings. And yeah, obviously devastating to see Amy Jones have to sit that one out. Um, so it'll we'll, we'll be interesting to see. Um, yeah, how she pulls up tomorrow, but I think, yeah, looking at um, the game, it's probably a few chances we were on top and, and let it slip a bit, but um, yeah, it was a, a fluid game, I'd say. I was going to say, do we know what's wrong with back injury? Oh, uh, no, I'm not sure actually, so um, yeah, it, it'll see how she pulls up tomorrow, I think that'll be the case. So, how did the, the mood with the um, Thunder out there for the, the smash, what was it like? Yeah, I think every time we get to come to North Sydney, regardless of a smash or not, is pretty exciting. So, yeah, to get out there um, against the Sixers, and I think it's been a long time since we've played cricket at North Sydney Oval. So, yeah, I think we're all really excited, and then just another heightened level um, when we see the Sixers out there. Sam Bates, two wickets for 27 runs. Uh, terrific performance by her. It actually amazes me how she continues to do it, because for someone who's been playing for so long and continues to, yeah, be at the best of her ability and, and take wickets at the same time and, and bowl in, like she bowled, an over in the power play, two overs in the power play, um, an over of the surge, and just to have figures like that is pretty incredible. Chloe Tryon, she has that reputation for being able to bowl the ball. What do you think seeing her first hand? Yeah, I've been seeing in the nets non-stop. She is someone I don't like to bowl to because they often come back at me um, and I'm jumping out of the way. So to see other play people jumping out of the way today was pretty exciting. And yeah, she's just such a um, you know powerhouse of a player. I think we'll, we'll definitely see some more of that. Uh, great innings by Rachel Haynes, 30 odd. Um, what are your thoughts on that and what does she mean to Thunder and um, what, what have you learned from her? Yeah, I think this year it's been really cool to have Rach back in the, the group. I know I definitely missed her last year, but I think an innings like that just shows the, the control she have, has over the cricket she plays. And yeah, it was amazing to see just how controlled she, she was in that innings. And it, yeah, it was really exciting. And I think yeah, we're all learning little bits and pieces, but I think for me, it's definitely that calmness. Hannah, thanks for your time. How much do you lean on her for leadership? Obviously, you had the reins last year, she got it down. She's also one of the best to learn from. What are you trying to get from her before she goes to lead? Yeah, I was really lucky. I've worked with her for the last couple of years, not just this year as well. So, yeah, she's really worked on in like a couple of areas for me. I think it's more that on-field leadership that I'm really comfortable in. So, yeah, I think that the people management is something she does incredibly well. So just watching how she goes about that um, off the field is probably the biggest thing I'm taking away.